All right, good morning. So we went to Lowe's and picked up 30 concrete footers. Um, and now we need to haul them from my truck over to where we're gonna be putting our platforms for the bell tent. So, you know, we made a video a while back of this gorilla cart and we obviously need a way to connect the gorilla cart to the four-wheeler. So Devin found well, the four-wheeler has a ball hitch, and we use the ball hitch to mainly pull trees we've cut down, drag them over to the burn pile. We wanted to keep that on there, so we needed to find a way to attach the gorilla cart to the four-wheeler's ball hitch. Found this thing on Amazon. We'll see if this is gonna work for us, but it seems pretty simple. Pull the cotter pin out, put it over the ball hitch, and put it right back on. The question is, this is fairly thin metal here, and how long is that gonna hold up? But we did just flip this handle around also. Yeah. Normally we just pull it with the handle and been happy with that, but we're not gonna schlep 30 <laughs> preformed comment, uh, comment, cement footers. There you go. That yeah. was a bad one. See, we, bad uh, we did not plan to wear the same shirts. We showed up at Lowe's wearing the exact same shirt. I was hoping we were gonna be dressed like. Our new land uniform. That's right. We need to get little patches and stuff. Patches. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Damn it. What happened? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my uh, gosh. I put it on the wrong, wrong wrench, wrong side. All right, so the main part's on there. It comes with two more bolts that would grab on each side to keep this from shifting. But this metal is so thin that I kind of want it to shift. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, let's I throw don't it know. on. What do you see? think? Oh, yeah, just do it. Just put it on there. Put it on. Okay. All right, put that on there. Attach it on there, Devin. Oh, look at that. All right. Probably a replacement pin. All right. Oh, man. What could go wrong? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. It's 20 bucks. All right. That just happened. Didn't make it. Alright, a couple things. One, I mean, right? It's, well, yeah, I, mean, I don't even know what to say. Good job, dummies. Um, front tire's flat, so we're gonna air it up. And then I'm gonna pull my truck down to the end like smart guys. So, what else is hilarious is I brought my air compressor because I was gonna use a pneumatic uh, wrench or whatever to. Try to get this lock nut that we have on the front um, ball joint off to put a castle nut on like they're supposed to be, but I didn't bring the attachment to air up the tires. Luckily, we have this little compressor in the Jackery. So, see how this works out. Probably do this faster just carrying them one at a time.
protection. Save the day with the Jackery and the and the Jacko Superior products. It's cool. It's got a light, a little SOS flashing on it. Super compact. Glad you have this out here, man. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well, not, look at this nice little carrying case. This is our review. <laughs> this is our review of the Jacko, the impromptu, the Jackery and Jacko combo. All right. All right, Jacko. Whoa. All right. Yeah, that was that was key, man. Oh. So you did not have your the right attachment? Not for the actual compressor I brought, but for I mean I have one of those. Okay, got it. Oh. Okay. Now what could possibly go wrong? You know what? I'm just going to keep recording. Okay. So it'll catch when something goes wrong? Yep. Yeah. All right. Piece of cake. Yeah, that worked out well. Thanks, Jacko. Jaco, Jacko. Dang it. All right, Devin made it, but that front tire's flat again. This thing's supposed to be able to carry how much weight? I don't know. 2,000 pounds? Come on, gorilla cart. All right, we're gonna unload this and take it wherever Devin's going. All right, let's give the old Jackery Jocko combo another go. And see. All right, let's load some more up. How many you want to try this time? I think the, uh, did it hold air? Yeah, I mean, it's lower, but yeah. Cool, all right, well, I think this is what happened last time too, right? Yeah, yeah it was flat it when was we right left. Now when it went. So it's got a slow leak, I guess. All right, so we got all of the. Sorry, I'm sorry. We were supposed to be in it. Well, Whatever. I was getting over here. We got all of the uh, footers unloaded at the location. That was fun. You like how the phone's crooked? That was, um, <laughs> it makes sense for today. Yeah, that took way too long. We had to air the tire up. It's, it's going flat again. Air the tire up on the gorilla cart each time we made a pass. Um, the initial load flipped over. So that was cool, but but uh, none of them were damaged. So that's cool. That's good. All right, so we got that done. I have a little bit of a family emergency, so I have to leave. So we're not gonna get as much done as we wanted to, but I need to pick up 15 bags of gravel um, to bring out here. And then the next step is going to be 
mapping out exactly where the footers are and leveling them out. That's going to be a big one. Hopefully we can knock that out in one day. Yeah. Piece of so. cake. So I'm about to take off. Devin's going to stay here. And uh, I'm going to put in some vents, uh, eight vents for the shipping container, which is good because it's 95 degrees today. So it'll be a fun day to be back there. Yeah. Doing that. So I feel bad that I have to oh, leave, no. but I won't take long. He'll do great. So, um, and it, it is much needed because when we open this up, it is just fumes yeah. and we're not even hundred percent sure exactly what, I guess just the four wheeler. Yeah. Even before that, that was something else. It's not the fuel. Yeah. I don't know what else it would be though. So, all right. That's Tell it. Yeah. Bye. This is coming out. That's why it's crooked.